Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to have a crack at building a custom office workstation. This is my office as it usually looks. The desk is about 5 years old, it's pretty small and it tends to get covered in clutter as I float between projects. There's also only one space so my partner has nowhere to work or sit when I'm using the office and there's no storage and definitely no cable management. This room still looks like we've just dumped anything office related here when we first moved in. So let's fix this. The first step is ordering all the parts that I think I'll need. I took my room dimensions from my house plans, then jumped onto the Caboodle Kitchen Planner through the Bunnings website. This lets me pick the items I need to order and get a good idea of where everything will sit in the room. I'm aiming for an L-shaped bench that will sit in the same corner as the old desk. I need two drawer units and one corner cabinet. It's not showing on here well, but there are bench tops that will sit on top of these cabinets. These were special order items because I chose a custom colour for the cabinets and they took about 6 weeks to show up. I went with some rather expensive bench tops which drove the total price up to around $3000. But since this will be a permanent fixture in my house, I think it's a good investment. Ok, let's clear up the office so we can start the build. I have a basically empty closet in the guest room opposite the office, so that will be a perfect spot for everything while this project is underway. I've got no space for the old desk, so I'm going to break it down and hopefully sell it. Now that the desk is out of the way, it gives me a chance to give the room a good clean without stuff in the way. I'm going to use some sugar soap to try and get rid of all the little marks that are on the wall from shoes and hands. Awesome, now we have a fresh room ready for the install. We start by assembling the caboodle cabinets. I chose to do this in my garage since there would be more space to work, but make sure you don't assemble something bigger than your doorways, else you won't be able to carry it in later. I found that one out the hard way. The cabinets come with lots of different pieces, which can be a little confusing at first, but there are some decent instructions too. Mostly, once you assemble the carcass of the 3 drawer cabinet, you just have to make up the drawers, and they all go together exactly the same, despite being different sizes. Just a couple of small tips, make sure you don't overdrive the screws as the material is just melamine and you can tear through it pretty easy if you're not careful. Also make sure you get all the screws in the holes and the pieces square and lined up before tightening anything all the way. This way you'll get nice and square cabinets. Remember how I said you may need to assemble bigger items in the room? Well we got caught out with that one, but we just had to take the feet off and it made it through okay. Alright, now we have the basic frames in place, we need to start adding some of the next pieces. But first I have to cut a hole in the back of one of the cabinets for an ethernet wall plate. Now I made a mistake with this hole, but it's all going to be hidden behind the drawers anyway, so no worries. Oh, it's a bit rough, but yeah. <laughs> At least the uh, cupboard can sit flush against the wall now. And uh, when the drawers go back, as you can see here, that's like the depth that it'll go to. So. It's enough bend radius for an ethernet cable to come through and, and get routed through the uh, desk setup. Right, so these are like the end panels and they've got to basically be stuck onto these ones. So to get that flush I've got to cut out. To get that flush I've got to cut out a little recess so I can fit against the skirting and also I have to adjust the feet so that this comes up all the way level with the top of that and then the bench top will sit on top of all of that so the feet just get wound out to the right height and then once I get this to the correct height there's a kickboard that will fit between there and the floor as well so yeah and I can fix these end panels by screwing through the inside into the end panels so a little bit, bit of a mission but should be all good. Sweet, so you can see I've fixed on this uh, side panel and yeah just drilled a hole through this first and then screwed it in four places. I've also got a screw on the rails for the drawers and these have pre-drilled holes which were easy enough to line up. Sweet, now I have both sides on I can push it back in place. Who can spot my mistake? Oh no, you fool. <laughs> so 
next job, I've got a pre-drill, just a couple of holes here so I can screw through and uh, into the wall so that would fix the cabinets there. I'm probably only gonna do two because yeah, there's not much, not much need to uh, make it that strong. It's just gotta be held to it so it can't tip over. So um, yeah, one, two, and that'd be fine. And last one before I fix the wall is just adjust the feet till it's perfectly level. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good there. About as good as I can get it. So yeah, to adjust them, you just gotta piss around twisting these knobs, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I'll fix it off. So I've drilled some holes through the back of the cabinet and just lightly through to mark the walls. Now I can drill out the walls with a masonry bit and install some wall plugs. Then I can slide it back in place and tighten the cabinet to the wall. Last step before I can put this against the wall, I've got to cut um, a little kickboard and it's pretty much got to go flush across here so I've got to measure the space between here and here and uh, this should be 145 mil which is the same uh, size as the kickboard the same width and um, then I've got to use some little uh, L brackets to fix it to the front here um, yeah I might go and get a draw front and uh, have a look at maybe even recessing it slightly I'm not really sure how I'll put it yet but yeah I'll have a look let's have a look at our kitchen cupboards and uh, See the kickboard here, that I've kind of recessed a little bit, so you've got sort of space where the drawer comes out. So I might try and do something similar as uh, recess it in a bit more. Probably not as far as that, but at least maybe flush with the actual frame of the cabinet. And then the drawers will sort of stick proud just a little bit at the bottom, which I think will look pretty nice. The kickboard just came in one 2.4 meter length and I had enough to do all of the cabinets. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now I just rinsed and repeated for the other ones. Alright, might be a little bit hard to see this, but um, this is where the kickboard has to go for the bottom side of the uh, pull-out cupboard. And um, I'm trying to recess it the exact same as the other one, so that should be 50 mil just to there. So basically I'm gonna make one of the pieces extend past the line, just like that. So it's gonna come out past here, or just, just you know cut it there. And then this piece has to fit perfect in here. And then what I can do is do a, a um, right angle bracket inside here. And then I can do, you know, like a bracket here, a couple there, sort of a couple there and there. And uh, what I'm hoping to get is sort of a nice seam along here, like a nice clean line. So yeah, let's see how that goes. You see what I mean now? So I ended up just fixing two screws through here and that's nice and solid now. So nice sort of even gap the whole way around. So from the front should be a nice tight seam along there. And I mean, that's pretty much perfect, man. Can't do much better than that. So yeah, pretty happy. All right, now I just gotta flip it over and uh, push it in the corner. Man, this has quickly become a really long video, so let's leave it here for now and call this part one. In the next part, I'll show you how I install some nice hardwood bench tops, and we'll start to get a good feel for how this is going to turn out. Thanks heaps for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.